How to make a paper plate ocean textures. Today we're gonna learn how to make this, so stay tuned if you wanna learn how to make it. Day one, we'll focus on the sea and the creature. Our first step after we assemble all of our materials is to write our name on the back of our paper plate. You'll know it's the back because it's kind of got a little um, bump on the, on the top of it. So if you're using the front of the plate, it'll be a little bit more flat, like how you would eat, use it to eat your food. Flip your paper plate over, and now we're gonna use the front of our paper plate to draw a straight line. Great job. Now we're going to paint the bottom half of our circle, the semi-circle, dark blue. You might need a couple coats of paint. And now we're going to mix white and blue to make a light blue. So you're gonna scoop it out, mix it together, and we're gonna paint the top half, or the semi-circle, light blue. I'm painting one more coat of dark blue on the bottom. Our plate goes on the drying rack. Just in case you need a review. Super, now we're gonna draw our creature. I'm gonna show you how to draw a whale, or if you're working in the classroom, you might already have a template. I'm using a marker, but we use a pencil so we can erase. So I'm drawing a line that goes straight up, like a big arch. And now I'm gonna draw a line that goes down all the way gradually. Nice. Now we're gonna draw the fin. So a curve line that goes up like a backwards J. an upside down U shape, and another upside down U shape. Now I'm gonna follow the curve of the tail that goes back down, and then we're gonna connect the two lines all the way across. Great job. Now I'm gonna draw a mouth. and a little smile, and a big circle for the eye. Now I'm gonna draw another circle inside of the eye to make it look shiny, and another circle at the bottom to make it look kinda like it's an anime eye. And I'm gonna color it in. I'm gonna draw a hole for the spout on the top of our whale. And now I'm gonna draw a straight line that comes down, kind of like the side of a Y. So it looks kind of like a Y shape. And then a humpy line, up, down, up, down, and then up, and down. Now we're gonna color in our whale, any colors that you'd like. And we're going to cut it out. I like to cut out big chunks first and then go in and try and cut out the details. Just so we don't lose our wheel, we're going to write our name on the back of our wheel after we're done cutting it out. Flip it over and write your name. Great job! Your wheel also goes on the drying rack. Day two, let's get started on the waves and sewing. So we're gonna be using a hole puncher. This is a hole puncher, and when you squeeze it, the top of it will punch a hole through your paper. So you just wanna make a bunch of holes on the outside of your paper. You wanna push all the way through, and then squeeze down with your hands, 
my paper was a little wet so it couldn't um, punch holes very well and see how it makes a hole. So push all the way through, squeeze down with your hands and you've got some holes. So we only want to punch out holes on the bottom where it's dark blue because that's going to be where our waves are. So you want to punch out a bunch of holes on the both sides, left and right. Now we're going to be using our thread and we're going to thread it through the hole. So we're going to go in, out, in, out. So I'm going to put my thread through one side. I'm going to pull it all the way through. Keep pulling. And then you want to leave a little bit of a tail. A tail means that you have some of your string left. So we're going to use the rest of that string. So now I'm going to find the front the very front of our string like this, and then I'm gonna thread it through the other side. So I'm gonna go back and forth, left to right. I'm gonna pull it all the way through, but carefully you don't pull it through too tight so that you lose your tail. Now I'm gonna find the top of my string again, and then I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna pull it through. And then I'm going to take the top of my string again, and then I'm going to go over, under. And we're going to go back and forth until we thread our string through all of the different holes. So then I'm going under and over, and then back through on the other side. I'm going to speed up my video just a little bit, but you're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, over, under, over, under, until you fill up your whole um, area down at the bottom, and that's going to look kind of like waves. And if your, um, your yarn gets a little bit frayed and it's hard for you to um, push it through, you can cut it off a little bit and sometimes that will help. So mine's getting a little frayed, so I'm gonna cut it off with scissors and then I'm gonna start over again. And then at the very end, we can either tie it to our tail or we can tape it, depending on what you have in the classroom or what you have at home. So I'm tying mine because I didn't have any tape. So if you need help knotting it at the end, it can help with that too. And now our whale has a place to swim so we can put him inside of our plate and he can hang out and take a rest. Nice job, friends.